It was quiet. Too quiet. Almost hopeless. But then he came and he was to change Britannia forever. Through a new senate, the will of the people was resounding. Slowly, new hope arose. But nothing lasts forever. At this moment, the future of Britannia is more uncertain than ever before. And the power to save it lies in the hands of one young boy. In the first session of the new Romano-British Senate, two senators in particular were able to convince with their proposals. Nathan Percy and Romanus Romare were able to get their proposals through the Senate with incredible support and currently enjoy the highest level of approval in the Senate. Both messages were clear. The island should first be defended at all costs against hostile barbarians and the economy rebuilt. After that, Rome was to secure control over all of Britannia, which was long overdue anyway. And Roman culture also had to be spread everywhere. According to the clear decisions by the Senate, the young Maximianus now had to fulfill his duties. The last year had been tough. And since the fall of the Western Roman Empire, Britain had gained new territory on the mainland. But that was beside the point for now. Because even if the first raids on Britain could be repelled, something now had to change quickly. For our army in its current state is getting absolutely trashed by every enemy. In the first few days, Maximianus had some serious and important meetings. He's a really good leader okay what's going on here <laughs> look at this oh my god that's hilarious <laughs> he's he's for meanwhile uh -huh. in order to better control my vassals i increased the crone authority so that probably won't help me that much now but hopefully when maximianus is a little older hopefully to further the stabilization of Britannia, I adopted autocratic ways. But with these arrangements, I was now also forced to stabilize Britain militarily, economically and politically. If I didn't achieve it in time, I would probably have dung my own grave with this decision. Again and again, raiders destroyed cities and I had to invest in rebuilding which significantly slowed down the economic building progress. And if it wasn't enough, a new revolt was also brewing. So I was totally busy. I stripped the vassals captured by the revolt of their titles and demanded that some others convert to the true Roman faith in order to bring more stability to the country. So some time passed, but the economy still didn't really get going. And if it didn't improve soon, there could be serious consequences. Maximianus was able to build up a good relationship with his half-brother, which had some advantages for him. In the course of time, through clever management, I was able to positively surprise some vassals and raise their opinion of me. During this time, Maximianus also met Count Morhetho, who was the same age and shared a similar faith. Both began to spend more time together, which had a potential of a great friendship. With the construction of new buildings and improved development, the economy began to recover. And it was during this time that Iolanus of Francia began to offer me suspicious gifts. 
which I preferred to get rid of quickly. A little later, a war broke out in Yiland, our ally. Since they had once helped us, I also created a small army. So we will... <laughs> Perfect. We will now help them. I couldn't take more, otherwise the Imperial laws would be endangered. Because of this, Yolan lost the war and was conquered. But as the Senate had decided, the whole focus was put on Britannia and its stabilization. Maximianus, meanwhile, was busy day and night managing the vassals. This enabled him to give his friend Mormitho control over the lower east of Britannia. They should now be in good hands for the time being. In addition, I slowly had the imperial laws under control, which will be a great help to me later, especially militarily. A little later, Maximianus became a true Roman through his teacher, and thus one of the few left in the west. The numerous changes led to a small peasant uprising, which, however, did not pose a great danger. <laughs> what? That was out of nowhere. Who is this? Oh my god, okay. The barbarians are invading. <laughs> that can't be allowed. Since I was outnumbered, I took the opportunity to negotiate a new alliance. With united forces, the barbarians were driven back and forced to surrender by the subsequent occupation of their land. In the middle of the war, Maximianus had finally come of age, which made the administration of the empire much easier. The war had been a wake-up call, that it was now especially important to take care of enlarging the army. Shortly afterwards came further shocking news. What? What? The East has also collapsed! Now that the East had also collapsed, there was no longer a great Roman Empire and the Roman culture was also slowly threatening to disappear. While Aelanus of Francia continued to send me suspicious news, I took care of enlarging the army. Shortly after my wife became pregnant, I received the news that she had cheated on me with her father. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I wasn't sure whether it was really my son she had given birth to. Pigland was weakened, and so I decided this would be an opportune time for a first small advance. Maximinus arranged a marriage with a Germanic tribe because he needed a new wife and because they had a large army and so began the conquest of Pigland. Territories that had once been under Roman rule for a short time. In the middle of the war, a vassal uprising occurred in the western part of the kingdom. The war of conquest was successfully ended and now I had to take care of the defense. But there was also trouble in the newly conquered territories. Fortunately, the vassal army was a bit clumsy. <laughs> and I could take care of the conflict in the north without being disrupted. After the wars had ended successfully, it was back to the administration work. But by now, Maximianus was very popular with most of the vassals and many had joined the Hellenic faith. The development of the capital was also progressing well. Maximianus ordered the construction of new Roman bathhouses and the empire was stable. Only Maximianus' family life was a curse, for his wife had passed away, as well as his first son. Maximianus now had nothing to lose, and launched another attack into northern Britain. But the tribes were slowly not putting up with it any longer, and even if he was able to achieve some first successes, he soon found himself embroiled in many wars. But Maximianus still had a plan because his new marriage had once again brought a strong ally to his side who supported him and his new marriage even produced a son. But the Senate also has the right to decide how to proceed with Britain and what the best measures for the future are.